Morgan. What's new? Nothing you could call news, I guess. They got away with another 12 head of saddle horses last night. A raid? No, they slipped up on my guards and knocked them cold. When they came to, the corral was empty. Two months more of this and I'll be broke. <laughs> Two months more of this and we'll all be broke. <laughs> more bad news, Dolores? Another letter from father. He hasn't been able to raise any money so far. Nobody wants to lend money on a ranch in this district where there's no law, where ranches are raided and men shot down. Oh, Ed, can't somebody do something to stamp out this lawlessness? The graveyard's half full of men that have tried. Is there uh, any truth to the rumor that your father's sending in a marshal from Prescott? Yes, I'm expecting him in on this morning stage. How did you know? Half the town knows. You know what that means. He may not get here? If he does, he'll probably be brought in the feet first like the rest of them. There's a fella inside there what needs a doctor pretty bad. The law fella from Prescott. This fella needs attention. Well, that ain't no stranger, that's Red Larson. Don't stand there looking at him. Get him over to the dock. Who did that to Red? Stranger to me. How did it happen? Don't know that either. All I know is a fella stopped me down about Mexican Bend, loaded him in the stage and says, take this carrion to the doctor or the coroner, as the case may be. I'll belong myself directly. What sort of a horse was he riding? Uh, pure white and pot thoroughbred. Thanks. Hey, Larkin shot pretty bad. Yeah, I know. Oh, come on. That marshal from Prescott got Red Larson. The stage driver said he's riding a white horse and heading this way. Well, what are you telling me for? You know what to do, don't you? Well, don't miss. Marshal heading in town on a white horse. Look. Too late, boys. Here he comes. They're out to get to you, having a chance. Where will I find the sheriff? Sheriff? Uh, oh, he died a spell back. Not enough iron in the system and too much lead. <laughs> <laughs> Any of you people know why that fellow tried to dry gulch me back there? Did he, uh, did he try to dry gulch you? Well, that's what they call it back where I come from. I lay behind a rock and took a shot at me as I rode past. Shot a hole through my hat. You know, there's nothing makes me madder than to have a good hat ruined. 
So I argued with him. Is that explanation satisfactory to everybody? I reckon what happened is your funeral, stranger. My funeral? Well, I don't think I'd bother to send any flowers if I were you. If you're sure I'm dead. Where'd you deliver your passenger? Um, uh, over to Doc Haley's office, right there. Thanks. Let's go over and have a little poker game. Let's go over and have a little poker game. Not that way. If it happens in town, it's got to look like a fair fight. How long before this fellow will be able to answer a few questions, Doc? If I was you, I wouldn't wait to ask any questions. I'd get my horse and start riding. What? It don't pay to talk much around here. Good me. You see them bullets? I dug them all out of human. And most of them come out of sheriffs. Well, anyway, I aim to stick around and find out why that fellow tried to waylay me. Then take my tip and stay off of dark streets. And don't go messing around that saloon across the way. That saloon, eh? Well, that last remark of yours made me thirsty. In that case, let me remind you that I have a sideline. Uh, that's the last one I have left. Have a glass of water, will you? You'd save a lot of money if you did your drinking at a horse trough. Yes? Probably be in better company. Liquor. How are things up at Prescott? I don't know. I've never been in Prescott. You don't expect anyone to believe that, do you? I don't care whether anyone believes it or not. Figure on locating in these parts? Maybe. Why? That man you gunned down this morning got a lot of friends around here. Well, that's nothing to brag about, being a friend of his. Well, my name is Bonner. I own this place, and I'm the best friend he's got. Well, that doesn't surprise me. Or change my opinion of either of you. Sounds like you're looking for trouble. I'm not looking for trouble, but I never go far to get away from it. Well, you better start going now, or... Or what? Yellow. Too yellow to draw. You know, it might give your friend Saloon a bad name. The man was shot in the back in here. You wouldn't want that to happen.
Now that you're all out in front of me, you can use your own judgment. Why, you... Keep your seats. Thanks, stranger. I don't know who you are, but you're sure welcome. Nice town. Nice and friendly. <laughs> well, I guess we're safe now. Too many witnesses. Now, will you tell me why everybody in this town's gunning for me? Why don't you know? I can't even guess. I rode in here looking for a job, and look what happened to me. <laughs> well, if I were you, I'd get on my horse and keep right on riding. Oh, no. I came here looking for a job, and I'm still looking for one. Don't know anybody wants a good foreman, do you? Well, if you're bound to go through with it, you might try the Ortega place, a few miles out of town. Tell him Ed Walton sent you. Thanks, Walton, for a lot of things. Oh, forget it. Come on. A fine bunch of gunmen you are. You ought to trade your guns for knitting needles and join a lady's sewing circle. You had one man to stop, and what happened? He blew Larson out from under his hat. Walked right into our trap, let you draw your gun, Shot it out of your hand. And stood you all up like a bunch of sheep. We'd have got him if you hadn't interfered. And another thing. Shut up. I'll do the talking and you do the listening. I've heard all I want to hear. We've been doing your dirty work for you and... And, and you'll keep right on doing it. Or else... Oh, you know I ain't got a chance with you on the draw. I know it. And don't you forget it. Any of you. Sit down. Now, I've sent that marshal out where I can keep my eye on him. And the next one of you that bungles a job, well, your guess is as good as mine. Viene un extranjero. Vamos a ver quién es. Perdón usted, señor. This is Rancho Ortega. Yes, I know. I have business with your boss. I'm sorry, señor, but strangers is not allowed on this place. Well, I'm not exactly a stranger. I was sent here by a man named Walton. ¿Qué pasa? Dice que es amigo del señor Walton, pero quién sabe. Pues lo llevamos a la casa a ver si es amigo o no. Vamos. Very well, señor. We will take you to the house, and I hope that you are telling the truth. Vamos. Doña Jacinta, háblele a la señorita Dolores.
This caballero say he's a friend of Senor Walton. I know the gentleman, Manuel. It's all right. You may leave us alone. Gracias. You shouldn't have come here. You sorry I came? No. I think I was hoping you would, but I, I wish... In that case, I'll stay. But you mustn't. They know who you are, and they'll... They? Who do you mean by they? The men who've driven the law from San Lorenzo. Nobody knows who they are. Is that the reason for the guards down there? Yes. They've run off our cattle, shot down our men, and driven us so far into debt that... Well, that's why Father went to Prescott, to see if he could borrow enough money to keep us going. Is your father in Prescott? Why, yes. You knew that. No, I didn't know it. Aren't you Captain Willoughby, the marshal my father sent him to help us? <laughs> no, my name is Tim Hamlin. I'm just a cowpuncher looking for a job. Oh. Say, that begins to clear the mystery up a little. They made the same mistake you did, thought I was the law sneaking up on them. That's why Red Larson tried to dry gulch me. That's why Bonner tried to gun me down. Bonner? Well, that's the man we're in debt to. Oh, don't you see? You've got to leave. He's dangerous and... Now, you're giving me a lot of reasons for staying, but not a single one for going away. Unless you really want me to. I... I do want you to go. Oh, no, I don't. I mean... I don't know what I want. Well, in that case, I'll just have to make up your mind for you, won't I? Now, I'm going to... What is it, Antonio? What has happened? The ladron, senorita, they have a still the cattle. Where are the other vaqueros? I am the last one of all. Them critters rolling. That's that Ortego kid. We'll let her find her new cowpoke, and that'll keep her from trailing the herd. Hurt badly. Oh, I knew I should have sent you away. I'm mighty happy to be right where I am, Miss. Oh. Well, they didn't get you. <laughs> they didn't get me. 
I saw them just in time. I, I threw myself out of the saddle, but my foot hung up in one stirrup and I was dragged. Oh, but you're all right. Oh, I'm so glad. Well, that kind of, kind of makes it unanimous. I, I wasn't referring to the song. Oh. I was just thinking as I watched you that... Señorita, don Fernando está allá afuera. Oh, excuse me, Ed Walton's here. Well, hello, Dolores. Hello, Ed. Are you glad to see me? Always. But not glad enough to change your mind about marrying me, though, are you? Oh, don't tell me you rode way out here just to say that, Ed. No, oh, I, I came out to see if I could help you, Annie. I just got the news. News? What news? I just heard about your new foreman being killed, and I thought that... Hello, Walton. Why, they told me that you... Well, this certainly is good to see you alive and kicking. Alive, but not kicking about anything. I'm not either, Ed. I heard from Dad. Yeah, oh, what's the news? He's coming in on tonight's stage and he's got the money. Well, it looks to me like your troubles are all over. Not quite. No, what do you mean? Well, having a little money isn't going to stop the raids on this ranch, or any other for that matter. You know, Walt, it's about time that San Lorenzo was made safe for honest people. Well, that's a pretty big contract. Have you got any ideas? A few. You know, any gang of outlaws is only as strong as his leader. I think this fellow Red Larson might throw some light on the mystery. He ought to be able to talk by now. I'm going to ride into town tonight and have a talk with him. Oh, you're right. Larson might talk. I hadn't thought of that. Yeah, he might talk. Aren't you coming in? No, I'll take the horses to the stable and then come on back. Got Red Larson here? Yeah? Why? You think he'll be able to answer a few questions now? Well, I reckon he's able, but I ain't sure he'll be willing. I think he will be after I get through talking to him. Oh, no. You and I are going to have a little talk. I'm going to listen, but you're going to do the talking. About what? Who sent you to get me? I ain't talking. And if I did, you ain't going to live long enough for it to do you any good. Of course, I can't force you to tell me the name of your boss, but just remember, I've got you already. <laughs> yeah. She'll never get out of town with me. That's what you think. Oh, don't be a fool, Red. It's not you I'm after. It's the man that sent you. And he'll never lift a finger to help you now because you missed. I ain't talking, I tell you. Well, have it your own way. You know what the law does to dry ulcers, don't you? 
Did you ever see one of those hangings, Red? <laughs> They're kind of comical. You know, they put a rope around your neck, kind of loose, like. And somebody pushes you off a high place, and you dangle there like a jumping jack, and your legs are kicking and reaching and stretching out, trying to, trying to find something solid to stand on, but there isn't anything there. And your hands start clawing and grabbing. You're trying to grab something to hold yourself up. But you can't grab anything but thin air. Oh, cut it out, will you? <laughs> You'll never do that there. to me. You dangle there, Red. Your head gets kinked over to one side. Your eyes start bulging out and your jaws are twitching. You try to talk then, you want to talk, but you can't because it's too... Oh, ah, stop it, will you? Stop it! I ain't gonna swing for no killer. I'll talk. Where are you holding those cattle, Russell? Blind Canyon, 20 miles back. Who are you working for? A fellow by the name of... You fired the last shot you'll fire for some time. I ain't the man you want. Take a look at my gun. It ain't been fired in weeks. I was in the alley when the shots were fired. I saw a man stagger from the window and head this way. I followed. Might have got him if you hadn't stopped me. Think he was hit? He ran like he was. Did you see which way he went? I couldn't be sure. But I have a hunch he headed for that saloon. Get out the back way quick. Here they come. Oh, it's too late. He can't make it. Here, hold on to him, fellas. Here. Play drunk. Oh, bury me not on the long prairie. Cut out that singing. Get him out of here. Oh, where the coyotes call. There's fellas like that that give a place a bad name. Go on, get him out of here. I understand a wounded man just came in here, Bonner. I want him. A wounded man? I ain't seen any in here. Have you? Unless you count that drunk they just dragged out of there. He was more than half shot. <laughs> that cow puncher wasn't drunk. He was wounded. You know it. Notice which way those three fellows went? They went that way. See if you can pick up their trail. Hmm. Did uh, Larson talk? No, they shot him before he had a chance. Let's take a look at him. All I need is one word out of him. That's what I call a close shave. Is he still alive? Just barely. Any chance of his talking before morning? He'll be lucky if he ever talks again. Hmm. Well, Larson told us one thing that might help. Either of you fellows know a place around here called Flying Canyon? Uh, yes, I... Why, yes, I guess we both know where that is. Why? Isn't that where he said they were holding those cattle? Yeah. You know any men around here you can trust? Well, they're scarce as hen's teeth, but... Oh, I guess I can dig up three or four. Then round them up and send them in. What's the play? We're gonna organize a vigilance committee. And by dawn, we'll be in Blind Canyon calling for a showdown. You know, we've been looking for a man of your quality for a long time.
I'm afraid we've started something we can't finish. What do you mean? I ain't exactly sure just how far you can trust Ed Walton. Well, you know something about him? Well, I can't say that I know anything about him for certain, but there are a few things that's got me guessing a little. Oh, uh, Larson used to work for him. Well, that doesn't mean anything by itself. Hmm, no, but that ain't all. The only way to Blind Canyon is through Walton's ranch. Now, the other day when you rode out of town, he went back to Bonner's place. And they had a long powwow with that gang in there. Hmm. It does begin to look a little suspicious, doesn't it? Why, well, come to think of it, Walton must be hooked up with this outfit somewhere. Otherwise, how did he know about my trouble with those rustlers? Now, do you know any men in this town you can count on in case Walton is crooked? Four or five, maybe, but they're pretty old. Well, if they can straddle a horse and pull a trigger, we can use them. I'll stay here with Larson while you're gone. And by morning, we're going to have law in San Lorenzo or a lot of empty saddles. Now, do it just the way I told you. And you can't miss. Who's there? A couple of vigilantes. Go ahead. Stand guard outside, Slim. Might as well sit down. You've got a long wait ahead of you. What are you figuring on doing with me? Nothing right now, unless you start something. Pick yourself out a chair. Well, there's no sense sitting down. I'm only going to be here a few minutes. Oh, yeah? Get over there and sit down. Figure on getting loose, do you? I'll bet you a new hat I'm out of here in five minutes. You know, I could win that bet mighty easy, don't you? Yes, I suppose you could. So can I. some more men. We'll never catch him alone. Well, I guess he won't do any more talking for a while. 
Hello, Fraser. Hello, Doc. Did Walton send you boys over here? Yeah. He said that fellow from Prescott is organizing a vigilance committee. Where is he? He's here when I left. I guess he just stepped out for a minute. Stepped out? Maybe run out. Not him. He's not the running kind. Good evening, Uncle Haley. Dolores, what are you doing in town this time of night? Well, Dad's coming in on tonight's stage. Have you seen anything of my new foreman? We're waiting for him ourselves. Has, has anything happened to Tim, Uncle Haley? There now, honey, don't you worry about Tim. He knows how to take care of himself. You just sit down there, dear. You come back. Stunned a little. Well, let's get him over there. Right right I can tell you but little, senors, for I was asleep when it happened. It was the shots that woke me. The coach was standing still. I look out to see what has happened. Just then, a man grabbed me. Something hit me on the head. That is all I know till just now. Did you recognize the man? No, senor. He was about the size of this man. Dressed much the same, but he wore a mask. Now that we know what he looks like, what kind of a horse was he riding? Why, he was riding a white horse. Try to fasten this robbery on me. What do you think? The description fits so far. Easy, Fraser. He was in the doctor's office when it happened. He hasn't been there all evening. We were there waiting for him. I left you there. What happened? A couple of strangers stuck me up, held me prisoner. They even took my gun away. <laughs> You'll have to think of a better one than that. It looks to me like we organized the vigilantes just in time. Somebody get a rope. Who's yeah, yeah, hang a rope. Here, guys, bring him up. Bring him up. Bring him up. Bring him up. Don't let them do it, Ed. He didn't rob my father. I know he didn't. The description fits, horse and all. There's plenty of other white horses. His horse is in the stable. Let's see if it's been ridden. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. 
Has he been rode? I'll say he's been rode. He's still in a lather and breathing like a steam engine. That settles it. Get that rope. Bring him over here. What's your idea? Put your hands in there. You two. Now turn around. Don't anyone get foolish and reach for a gun. Listen, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to borrow that horse of you. Now, I want to tell you one thing. I didn't hold up that stage, but I think I know who did. And before I quit this town for good, I'm coming back here and prove it. is gone, I carried him here. It is not so pleasant to lose the home that has been ours for generations. You're not going to lose it, Don Raphael. I'm going to take up Bonner's notes for you myself tomorrow. Oh, you have been a very good friend to us, Don Eduardo. But... Now, I'd be even closer than a friend if Dolores would only say the word. But I can't sleep. My mind is too full of what has happened. But you needn't wait up for me. Pobrecita, querida mía. Good night. Good night. I thought you'd come when you saw the light. I had to return your horse, Dolores. Besides, I wanted to have a talk with you. You know I have only to give the alarm and my men will come and take you. I don't think you'll call your men. Because you know I didn't rob your father. I don't want to believe it, but... You don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't know why, but I don't. You believe me. You believe me because... Because you know I... Well, I guess I better clear myself before I finish what I was going to say. Tell me, just how well do you know Ed Walton? Why, he's the best friend we've got. Are you sure? Why, yes. In fact... I'm going to marry him. Marry him? You want to marry him? Well, he's going to help Father, and he's going to lend us some money, and I thought... That's all I wanted to know. Now, I'm going into town. And if I come back, 
I don't think your father will need Walton's help. I don't think you're going anywhere for a while, young feller. In case you're interested, my name's Willoughby. I'm the law officer they mistook you for. Out there at Tiger Ranch? You find the money? Not yet. All right, mister. Wait a minute. You've done more than your share, mister. So from here on, the vigilantes will take charge. Yeah, let's This ain't gonna be a necktie party. He's my prisoner. Oh, what do you mean, your prisoner? I'm the marshal. You've been expecting from Prescott. Oh, How about it, folks? Do we need the law to handle our business? No. no. He's my prisoner, and I'm taking him back to Prescott. If necessary, we'll fight our way through. Black, can I count on you to back up the law? Who? Me? Oh, sure, sure. What do, you, what do you want done? I want to use your office for a few minutes. Well, sure, it's yours. Come on this way. Uh, Let any of this mob follow, understand? We're upholding the law. They've got to come back out sometime. Right in here. I want to leave him here while I make out a report to headquarters. Sure, the law can write its own ticket in my place. Sit down. Would you mind riding herd on him until I get back? Why, well, I'd be delighted. I'd sure appreciate it. They finally knocked off your horns, did they? <laughs> Just another false alarm. Comes in like a roaring lion and goes out like a meek little lamb. <laughs> you talk different the first time I met you. Yeah, shut up. You know, you're piling up a lot of trouble for yourself, don't you? What do you mean, trouble? <laughs> you forget I'm working on the side of the law. No, no, you're not. You only think you are. I'm working on the side of the law. You know, I've wanted to have a little talk with you in private for some time. And now I'm going to have it. Wait! Go on. Of course, you know I could gun you down for that move, don't you? You wouldn't shoot a man down in cold blood, would you? Maybe. Unless he talked fast and talked straight. The marshal sent me in to be a sort of a witness to anything this man might say. Fine. Just turn the key in that lock. Start talking. About what? About the holdup. Where'd you hide or take his money? I don't know anything about it. Honest, I don't. Open that safe. But there's nothing in the safe. On the level. Well, then open it. If there's nothing in it, why worry? Well, there's 
nothing in the safe, eh? It's... it's Ortega's money. But I didn't put it there. Honest, I didn't. Who else knows the combination of that safe? No, oh, I don't dare tell. He'd kill me. Why, he wouldn't kill you, would he, Bonner? Sure he would. He's been trying to get an excuse for months. He's afraid of me because I know too much. He'd get me in a minute if he got a chance, but he'll never get the chance. You're lucky, Walton. With Bonner gone, I've got to take you alive. Give us a drink, Dad. I wonder why someone else I don't like the sound of things in there. Better not. Walton said not to butt in. Come on, give us something, will you? I don't care what Walton said, something's gone wrong. Fraser, Blackie, break down the door! Break it down, let's get out of here. Break it down, let's get out of here. Oh, get out of here. 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 Cover him, man. All right, get over on the other side of the room, buddy. Come on, come on. Come on, get over here. 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 Come Looked like it worked. It worked all right. <laughs> Wait a minute, Daddy. Well, folks, you can dust out the sheriff's office. The laws come to this town to stay. Hooray! If any of you are interested, this is the man that started it all. And this is the man that ended it. Hooray! If there's any doubt in your mind, young lady, You're the reason I tackled this job.